Thanks for staying with us. We're at the Kansas Soybean Commission office here in Topeka, Kansas, and uh, I get to draw a lot of really good jobs every once in a while. <laughs> I tell people all the time I have the coolest job in the world. I get to spend time with farmers and ranchers and producers and commission people, and every once in a while I get fed, and today's one of those days. Today is that today day. Today is that That's day. Right. So Charlene Patton's joined us. You know Charlene. She's been with us many, many times over the years, and uh, we're going to talk about the new Sued soy food guide that just came out. We are. Each year, the Kansas Soybean Commission offers a new soy food guide uh, to consumers, and you'll want to make sure that you get it because it is a four-color, nice publication. Mm -hmm. It's filled with lots of ideas and recipes and information about soy foods. I particularly like it because if consumers want to know what is soy flour, what is soy milk, there is a great glossary in here that gives a description of each of those and tells how they're made. Made, and then there's a chart that tells the benefit and the nutritional value of each of the products. And one of the things that we want to make sure that we remind the viewers about is, is soybeans are a huge crop here in the state of Kansas. Uh, if you live in one of the rural communities or you drive up and down the highway, you've seen soy growing here in the state of Kansas. It is, I think we're probably nine or ten when it comes in the country. I know we're in the top ten when it comes in the country as, as production goes. So it's very important to our state's economy and, and probably your neighbor's economy as well. So. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and this is something that uh, the commission funds. Exactly. Because we like to tell consumers, because it is such an important agriculture crop in Kansas, let them know how important it is to them. Most of the, soy, uh, ingredient, the soybeans in the United States or in Kansas mm -hmm. are used for livestock feed here in our state, but they are used in so many foods, which is why we're talking about the Soy Foods Guide. And one of them that I think surprises <coughs> consumers, uh, if they would just open their pantry and pull out vegetable oil. Look at the label on vegetable oil and the only ingredient is going to be soybeans. Mm -hmm. Unless it says another type of oil, then it is soybean oil. So probably everyone has that in their pantry and uses it all the time. But some other popular soy foods that consumers often think of is soy milk. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people will go to soy for an alternative, maybe for a special diet that they need to look at. And soy does offer a lot of opportunities to exchange other ingredients, whether it be soy milk, uh, whether it be soy yogurt, soy uh, cream cheese, so that those that might be lactose intolerant or have other allergies can look to soy that offers some assistance to that and still gives them that opportunity to use that in their cooking. Yeah, soy foods are more than just tofu nowadays. Exactly. I mean, it, there's a lot that really goes into preparation and, and thinking about putting soy into, into food nowadays. And one of the ingredients that we work with a lot in Kansas is soy flour. Mm -hmm. um, soy flour does not have gluten in it, but uh, it, it needs to be combined with our good Kansas wheat flour to make a great baking product. But we do have lots of recipes on our website. Um, you can go to the uh, kansassoybeans.org. We have an archive of recipes, so whether you've seen them on television or whether you've seen them in one of our publications, they're always there where you can find some of your favorites later. This particular recipe that we have today is actually on page 23 in this book, and it's a fresh fruit berry crumble. It is so easy to make. Which I will get to sample <laughs> sometime today. Yes, you will. Yeah. It is one recipe that I think all your viewers are want to have and to keep and tuck away because it's that special recipe that's easy to make, requires only a few ingredients, and when it's time-saving and delicious, that's what we want. But this particular recipe uses four cups of berries, and this time of year in Kansas, we have lots of berries and choices. You could also use frozen berries. And then we are going to sprinkle one, four, or one uh, tablespoon of sugar over the top of it, and then the crumble topping is very, very easy. It's one-third cup of whole wheat flour, one-third cup of oatmeal, one-third cup of brown sugar. Mix that all together with three tablespoons of our vegetable oil mm -hmm. till you have a nice nice crumbly mixture and then just put that on the top. Bake it at 375 for 25 to 30 minutes and you have a perfect dessert. And you have something that I'm going to enjoy. So we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to finish up with Charlene at the Kansas, Commission, Kansas Soybean Commission office here in Topeka. You watch your Kansas Ag Report and we'll see you in just a minute. This segment brought to you by Farm Bureau, a grassroots ag organization representing the state's farmers and ranchers since 1919. KFB.org. Oldie Seed Farms, carrying soil specific seed. Find them on the web at oldieseed.com. That's O H L D E seed.com. 
grass and grain, online or in the mail, keeping Kansas farmers informed for over 60 years. Grassandgrain.com. Kansas Weed Commission, leaders in the adoption of profitable innovations for wheat. Online at kswheat.com. Thanks for staying with us. We're at the Kansas Soybean Commission office here in Topeka, Kansas, and we're joined by Charlene Patton, and uh, we're talking about the new soy food guide that comes out and comes out every year. And uh, we've got about a minute left uh, in the segment, so uh, not only do I get to sample this and have some of it, uh, let's tell everybody how they can get the soy food guide. Absolutely. I w do want to mention real quickly that there is a lot about um, athletes for this particular, this kind of the theme of this, uh, protein snacks, and you'll see the runners on the front of it. So I think that it's a publication has a lot of, of interest for people. Mm -hmm. But they can go to our website at kansassoybeans.org or they can call us at 877-KS-SOYBEAN and ask for the Soy Foods Guide and we'll send it out to them. Perfect. Is, and real quick, is there another website if someone is kind of trying to do one for one or looking at measurements, trying to convert some stuff? Is there a website that they can go to to help with those conversions? If you come to the Kansas uh, Soybean website at kansassoybeans.org and then come to the consumer section and then we have lots of links there to other places that you can go for information activities for children uh, different places that you can go but then look at our archives because we have a lot of recipes there and information on how you to can convert that in easy ideas perfect and we want to remind you of the importance of the soy industry here into the state of Kansas it also supports everything that uh, you probably touch soy on a daily basis and you don't know it exactly. and especially if you uh, uh, partake of uh, protein when it comes to the beef industry, poultry industry, and even the aqua industry, soy is becoming very important to that too. So, Charlene, thank you for your time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching Kansas Ag Report. You have made us the highest rated ag TV show in the state of Kansas, and we thank you. Imagine having someone help you pick the best corn hybrids for every field on your farm. Your oldie representative can combine your data with his data to offer a field-by-field -field prescription. Contact Oldie Seed today at 877-692-4555.